Jill isn't for me. Right. You know, you with 50, you're touring. Right. You, you're, seeing, you're seeing the world, right? right? And now you come up with Passports to the Future. Right. What's that? Um, well, Passports to the Future, I feel like a lot of kids are, like Philly, for instance. Mm -hmm. it's, it's tough there. Right. You know, it's like New York, it's like Baltimore, anywhere else, Delaware parts. So I feel like a lot of kids are just, it's be the environment. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, like I said, I know kids in the Bronx and Brooklyn, and it's really the environment. So my whole thing is I would like kids to see the world. Like mm -hmm. go to Paris, go to London, go out your element, because you never know what you could be. Right. You never know where it could take you. Like I, I'm the type of guy, like I like eating caviar now. <laughs> Caviar yeah. pancakes. <laughs> but don't get me wrong, I'll still eat a beef patty with cocoa bread. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter to me. But right. I like experiencing the world, and I never thought God would give us the opportunity to fly the world. I've just been to 40 countries. I've been to Germany, Switzerland, Dubai, Paris, wow. Amsterdam, you, you name it. And like, this is a kid from Queens. Yeah, a kid from Queens, me, 50, and Banks, our lives definitely right. changed. How did that, um, and, 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 and before we get, now we'll get uh -huh. back to that. Um, exposure. You looked at 50, 50 was always a small guy. So when we started doing music, 50 said, yo, no more selling drugs. That's done. If you sell drugs, get away from me. Because that's only going to take you one path. You're going to either be dead or in jail. Right. And that's the truth. And that's what you see with today, a lot of today's music. Some of right. the, the artists are still selling, are still pumping. But yeah. 50, like you said, was not just a brother, not just a mentor, a businessman. Definitely. And, but that also looked out for you. Definitely. For, for you and, and, and Banks. Yeah, cause, right? I mean, you know, when we used to be on the road, our first tour, you know, it was a lot more women now we got. We looked a little more attractive to, to people because we was famous. Right. And 50 would be like, yo, you go on the road, don't have no kids on the road. Right. You know, these women are strangers. Right. You know, 50 only has, what, two kids? Right. So, I mean, you see a lot of rappers might have 20 kids, right. 15 kids. Right. Like that. So you have a guy like that telling you, yo, listen, even with the jewelry, like, I don't wear this all the time because mm -hmm. I know how much it costs and I know somebody will kill me for it. Wow. You, know, you see the artists now getting killed every other day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we in a new generation and, you know, we didn't have Instagram now. So now the kids, they got a little more pressure, you right. know? They, a Mary Jeans is $1,000. These kids wanted Marys, they want, you know, all the nice stuff, Nikes, Air Force One. So I feel like Instagram does put a lot more pressure mm -hmm. on kids now. And, 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 and with that right there, I'm, my question is someone, a, a, a kid in the audience, what pressures do you go through? The pressures that I go through as a student is definitely peer pressure. So if you're raised a different way than another person, instead of just accepting that you were raised differently, they would try to kind of put their habits on you and try mm. to change your lifestyle so you could join in whatever your friends or the people around you are doing. Yeah. And that's exactly what we were talking about last night uh, when you were talking about kids in school and, and trying to, um, you know, certain kids dress a certain way right. and then the peer pressure of that. And I mean, Instagram. look how big this, the, the gang Thank thing, you so much. The, you, you look how big the gang culture is. If you, what, what you, you said you're from Philly, right? What do you see in Philly? What happens in Philly? You, you seen somebody get Check. shot before or you seen? Wait a minute, wait a minute, get you the microphone. See what I'm saying? Yeah, and it, it was that, yeah, just like that. Yeah, said a lot of times. A lot of you times. Know, it's like. Yeah, right here, Caitlin. Yeah. What, and you, what part of Philly are you from? North Philly, from that's North. right. North Philly. <laughs> right. Here you go. You pass that to him, yeah. Go ahead, you stand up. What, what's your name? Darian. Darian? Now, what, what did you see in Philly? How old are you? 19. And what's your everyday? What do you see in Philly when you go outside? Uh, people dealing drugs, people getting shot, jumped, a lot of stuff. Does, does that, when you see it, does it bother you or is it just, you know, I see that every day? I'm just. Yeah, I see it every day. It's normal now. It's normal but now. But that's not normal. Right. right. See that? His, so his, much, his normal is not normal. That's not. So, how do we change the normal? How do, how do we change? Because when you look at it, when we look at the kids that, that are in the hood, right? That mm -hmm. grow up where we where we came from, right? right? And it's easy. I grew up over South Bridge in the hood. You grew up in Queens, different right. hoods, right? Right. Um, but how do you change, begin the, ch the change of that these kids, that, and I hate to call you kids. I swear to God, I hate to call you yeah. kids. These young adults um, can be, can stop being desensitized to to things like I that. I mean, I think it's, uh, as black people, we don't get enough therapy mm. in, in, in our neighborhood because we came up, how we came up, you had to be tough all the time. Yeah. You, you know, in the streets, you had to be tough. 
in the jail you had to be tough, in the house you had to be tough. I think a lot of people need therapy. Right. Um, with Passport to the Future, I think a lot of kids need to see different things mm -hmm. because shooting and killing shouldn't be normal to him. How, 15? How? 19? 19. Shooting and killing shouldn't be the norm right. for his every day. So a right. kid like this, I would take him and say, yo, let's take him to Paris. Let's um, let him go see the Mona Lisa. Let him, right. let, let's take her to Switzerland. Oh, wow. let's, 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 let's take this kid to uh, Amsterdam or where, wherever they feel just to get out of the neighborhood because shooting and killing shouldn't be the norm for any 19-year-old kid. What, what else, and open floor, what else is the norm for someone? Shooting, killing, same thing, just trapping. Where, and where are you, where you from? West Side, Wilmington. West Side, Wilmington. Now, my question to you, does music play an influence into how you act and what you see and what you buy oh, yeah, and what you wear? It, it could be somebody that's not, you know, never thought about picking up a gun a day in their life. They hear somebody, like, if they friend might be from the hood, they, they not really, like, they not living like the lifestyle that they friend living. He plays some stuff around him. He got him hooked listening to, to this, and he know he not living like that. And the rapper come from that, and he listen to that and going to do what the rapper is presenting his songs. Wow. 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 Thank you, man. Appreciate it. So, so, wow. Therapy. I mean, you hearing it from him. I mean. <laughs> Out of the mouth of babes. <laughs> yeah. That's what, that's what yeah. we're getting at. I mean, the music, I, it does influence. And, mm -hmm. you know, when we started, we had the guns in the video. We was, like, one of the first guys to do that. But, you know, down the line, like, even being a rapper is dangerous now. Mm -hmm. You know, you see rappers like PNB Rock go to uh, the Waffle House and get killed for his jury. Right, right. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's a funny game. Right. You know, it's a yeah. funny game. But I feel with the kids, I feel like it's Instagram more than anything for me. Because when y'all wake up in the morning, what do we do? We go on Instagram. Nobody even really... Is, is it IG? For, is it they, IG? Everybody's on IG. Uh -huh. Like, like the no whole one's on world. Facebook no more. They just like... Yeah, nah, nah, Facebook is cool and everything, but the younger generation is, is more... Right. Instagram. And so the images, they remember you told me about, we talked about pictures and images. Right. The images, the still images on there, you seeing what this celebrity have. Like, I feel like I had to get this chain. Mm -hmm. To me, it's a waste of money. Mm -hmm. But I feel like I had to get it for them. Because mm. they want to see it. Right. I don't really care about this stuff. Because so, I know somebody tried to kill me for it. So I, you know, and and we were talking about that last night, yeah. too. Like, how, how 